Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at why has your person ghosted you? Now, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is only for those of you who have been dealing with someone who disappeared, who stopped communicating, who stopped contacting you, and you want to know why that is and what their current feelings are for you and what actions will they take towards you next. Okay, I'm going to answer all of these questions, so let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at what were your person's feelings for you at the time that they ghosted you. And then we'll see what are their current feelings for you as of right now, okay? All right, Spirit, what were this person's feelings for Aries at the time that they ghosted Aries? Okay, let's take a look. First card we have here is the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the uh, Page of Pentacles spirit. Nine of Wands, oh, okay, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Well, I definitely feel like this person um, did have feelings for you. Even though they might have ghosted you, they did have feelings for you at the time that they ghosted you. Um, it looks like they kind of forced themselves to distance, distance themselves from you. Doesn't look like they wanted to do that. But this person, for some reason, felt like it was a waste of time to keep entertaining this relationship with you from a practical point of view with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. From a practical standpoint, they felt like They felt like it was a bad investment or it would have been a bad investment to keep entertaining this relationship. Yeah, they felt like from a practical point of view, it just wasn't worth it or they didn't feel like it was realistic. Tell me about that Four of Pentacles spirit. Two of Cups in reverse, okay, and the Moon. Hmm. So a lot of insecurities here um, with this person, a lot of fears and insecurities. Okay, so this person simply was not feeling very confident in this relationship being a practical investment. Because it does look like this person is looking for stability and for security. It, it does look like they're looking for something stable. But for some reason, this person felt like there was a lot of inconsistent energy within this relationship with you or connection with you? How was this person seeing Aries? Let me just look at that. What was this person's view of Aries, please? They were seeing you as the star in reverse, okay? The three of pentacles in reverse. 
So they felt like you weren't really on the same page with them in some way, or you weren't really putting much effort into this, or at least not what they considered is would be effort. They just didn't really feel like you were cooperating with them or giving them any kind of incentive or like proving anything to them or demonstrating anything to them. It's like this person felt like they needed more proof or more like evidence that that this relationship is a good investment. And they they didn't feel like that they were getting that from you. They felt like the energy between you two was very inconsistent or very um, tumultuous in some way. Mm -hmm. And they just felt like there was too much um, uncertainty. And it made them feel uncomfortable how much uncertainty there was. It's almost like this person felt like they didn't understand you. They were having a hard time kind of understanding you or figuring you out. Or getting on the same page with you. How else was this person seeing Aries? We have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups, yeah. So again, they felt like they weren't receiving a lot of effort from you. Or they weren't receiving a lot of reassurance from you. They felt like you were holding back from them. Or like you were hiding stuff from them, being hiding, hiding something from them or being secretive or being a little bit aloof, emotionally aloof. And we have this person as the Four of Pentacles. So this is someone who is like very kind of strict, you know? They have very strict requirements. I feel like this person has a little bit of a checklist. And they expect the person to, you know, um, fulfill every, every little detail on their checklist or every little requirement on their checklist, you know? And this person felt like you were just not, you weren't ticking all the boxes. Yeah, because this person likes to feel like they're in control. And for some reason, they felt when it when it comes to you, Aries, they felt like they were having trouble controlling you. It's almost like your energy was just a little bit too independent for their liking, you know? If that makes sense. It's a little bit too independent. A little bit too separate. I feel like this person wanted you to be a little bit more involved with them or... Or like they, they wanted a little bit more like attention from you. And they felt like you were just doing your own thing more than you were kind of giving them attention or even like clinging to them. Cause I, the four of pentacles can be kind of like a clingy energy. I feel like this person prefers their partner to be a little bit more clingy, you know, to, you know what I mean? To like, to show them a little bit more, like more need to be more needy because it makes them feel more comfortable. It makes them feel more like in control and secure.
And I think they were looking at you as someone who was just a little bit too, too much in your own world, you know? All right, well, what are their current feelings for you um, as of right now, Aries? Let's take a look. All right, Spirit, what are this person's current feelings for Aries as of right now? Thank you so much. What do we have here? Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool in reverse, the Death card, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Aries, I feel like this is someone who is choosing to kind of disconnect, disconnect like completely from this relationship or connection with you. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is this king of swords. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. I feel like this person is kind of bitter about something or like upset about something. I feel like something is just, something didn't go to plan. Something didn't really um, go their way. I feel, like, I feel like this person had like very specific or strict expectations over you and over the relationship or connection with you. And again, I feel like this person wanted, was looking for some sort of perfect outcome. But nothing's really perfect and you know, you can't really control people. Um, and I feel like this person wanted to control, you know, every little thing. And I feel like this is the type of person that, you know, if something doesn't go according to plan, they immediately want to kind of cut it out of their life, you know? They, they immediately just want to kind of eliminate it from their life. You know, just someone who's very inflexible and it's kind of hard to it's kind of it's kind of hard to work with them or cooperate with them because they're not really a team player you know with this energy they're not really a team player but they expect you to be a team player you know it's kind of like a dictator type of energy They're definitely looking at you like you're the one who messed up or you're the one who um, is at fault or you're the one who is to blame. They feel like they gave you a chance and they feel like you didn't really um, measure up. You didn't really measure up to what they were looking for, if that makes sense. So I do see with the death card that this person right now is at least as of right now, they're in, they're, in a, they're in a mentality here of letting this go and walking away, like, permanently as of right now. 
But I do feel like this is someone who's very dramatic also in their energy. So we'll have to see if if things change um, coming up in the future. They might have somebody else also Aries with the Ten of Pentacles. This might be someone is, who also has some other option on the side. Um, and if that's the case, I do feel like they're kind of choosing to focus on that other option. Let's see, at the bottom is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, the Moon. The Moon and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I do feel like underneath this kind of tough exterior that they wear, um, this tough kind of armor that they have on, I do feel like this is someone who has emotion, um, who has deep emotions for you, deep feelings for you. But they definitely, they definitely choose to bury their feelings for you um, and not really acknowledge it or not really um, honor it or recognize it. They kind of choose to pretend that it doesn't exist, um, whatever feelings they have for you, um, because it's not convenient for them. <clears throat> it's not convenient for them. It makes them weak. It makes them weak, and <clears throat> this person doesn't want to be weak with the King of Swords. They want to maintain an image here of being very tough, you know? All right, let's see what's going to happen now. Um, what, what actions will they be taking towards you coming up into the future? Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Aries next, coming up into the future, please? We have Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Death card, Two of Swords, oh, interesting, and the Four of Swords, oh, interesting. Yeah, Aries, I really don't think this is someone who's permanently, permanently um, walking away from your life. I think this is someone who's taking a break. They're taking a break. They're, they're definitely um, creating distance here between you and them. But I don't see that it's going to last a long time. I do see that this is someone who will be resurfacing into your life, okay? Yeah, and I feel like it's because they're going to have a hard time um, forgetting about you with the Four of Swords. They're going to have a hard time uh, getting you out of their head because, like I said, they do have feelings for you. It's just that they bury it like deep inside of them. They keep it buried, but that's not going to last long. Once they realize that there's nobody else that compares to you, that's that's when it's going to hit them and they're going to definitely be returning back. For what reason, spirit? For what intention, for what intention or for what reason will they return back?
Yeah, the two of cups in reverse. Yeah, they definitely still feel um, unfinished business with you. Seven of swords and the two of cups in reverse. This is kind of like curiosity, by the way. Seven of swords is someone who feels curious about, you know, maybe, maybe I made the wrong decision. Maybe I was too judgmental. You know, maybe I, maybe, maybe I overreacted. I feel like that's what's going to be happening with them, okay? They're going to be, they're going to start questioning themselves and um, feeling self-doubt about whether they made the right decision about walking away. And it's like emotionally, they're going to feel um, unfinished bu business with you. And that's what's going to make them resurface here. All right, Aries, so I hope this gave you some clarity. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.